Oh my gosh, I'm still recording. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel, Finding Disney. We're finding the Disney magic right here at home. And I have this just fun little haul for you. Just some things that I've gathered over the past few months and I thought you guys might like to see it. So the first thing I want to share is a pair of ears that I bought from my friend Cargo. Her name is Carrie Ann. And um, also she has an Instagram account that is called um, Celebrate the Magic. So I'll put all of her information down below. But she was selling these ears for really cheap and she wasn't charging any shipping. And I thought, girl, you get, sign me up. I just love the fabric. Carrie Ann always finds the best fabric. And here are these ears um, have a rainbow background, but you'll see all kinds of Disney snacks. And I don't know about you, but I am all about the Disney snacks. So here's the front and here's the back. <laughs> Everything looks so good right now where we can't even get anything from the parks. Put my hair back in a ponytail like I always do anyway. I don't know why I acted like I wasn't gonna put my hair in a ponytail, but I wanted to put it in a ponytail today just to really show off my ears. And so that's why I wanna share that item with you first so I could put them on and wear them for the remainder of the video. The second thing I wanna share with you is this gorgeous lithograph. I got it as a prize. I had to retake my Disney College of Knowledge because you have to update it every year. It wasn't quite as extensive as the first year I had to do the College of Knowledge, but um, you do get a little incentive for completing the program, and I'm just excited to show you. I haven't pulled it out in a little while, so I'm excited to kind of see it again. Um, here it is. The gang's all there in an old style airplane. And at the bottom it says college to Disney knowledge. Gosh, I just think this is pretty. At the bottom it says Don Williams. I'm not familiar with that artist. Some people maybe are, but this is just phenomenal. I think this will look so pretty framed. And one day when I have an office or something, I can put it in there. It hasn't gotten bent so far, which is great. And the inside here it just says a uh, certificate of authenticity, which is really nice. You know, I said I didn't know about the artist, but let's read about him real quick. Don Ducky Williams loves creating Disney character art today as much as he did in his youth in Springfield, Massachusetts. After three decades with Disney, he continues to produce magnificent Disney character masterpieces for everything from advertising campaigns, books, television, and even airplane wraps. Wow, that's really interesting. Too much sought after collectibles and special edition lithographs like the one that I received today or that I showed you today. So I think I'm gonna do a video about my first year as a Disney travel planner. Um, it's been quite the year, especially with the quarantine happening and I've had quite a few clients cancel their trips, which they, some of them were forced to do, but some of them chose to, which is totally fine. But yes, it has been quite a first year. Okay. I got this bag, by the way. It reminded me of Aurora and I bought it at uh, Goodwill. I got it at Goodwill and I shared it in a haul video, a couple videos back. I'll link that below. Okay, next thing I picked up, um, some stuff at the Dollar, at the Dollar Tree, uh, the, the Disney store. I don't even know why it's a Dollar Tree. The Disney store. Um, these were all clearance items. No, the pins weren't clearance items, but these two were. I got this patch. It's a Baymax patch. And the really interesting thing about this Baymax patch is it's got a rubbery feel to it. It's not just like a stitched patch, like you would see. So Baymax is rubbery here, but then here you can kind of see the stitches, but the heart is felt. It's just, I just thought it was a really neat patch. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I just couldn't resist. It was only $2.99, so he was mine. Took him home with me. I'll put that in the plastic later. The next thing I found on the clearance rack is the set of magnets. I think it'll look really cute on my refrigerator. We've got a Mickey hand spatula, a Mickey hand fork, a Mickey hand spoon, and a Mickey handle pan. 
cute. Let's take it out of the plastic so we can see that a little bit better too. This was actually a Disney Parks item. And if you didn't know, the Disney store will carry Disney Parks items. This is kind of coming down a little bit. Hey, get back here. Okay, let me fix this. There we go. Now it's more centered. There we go. Now you can see it a lot easier. I don't know how strong these magnets are gonna be. Probably not very. They're probably gonna be a little bit more for decoration. But yeah, it's a Disney Parks item. Um, let's see, usually this stuff at the Disney store comes from Disneyland and not World. But it, this one doesn't say, so maybe you can buy it at either. I'm not sure how that works, to tell you the truth. So when the Disney Parks are done with their items and how they get them distributed to the Disney stores, I'm not sure. I don't know if the Disney stores have to auction off the item, you know, auction for the items or, or whatever. Um, I'm assuming these are probably items that didn't sell or items that are not, they're not stocking anymore. This is a set of Alice in Wonderland pins. I'm not a huge Alice in Wonderland fan, or I should say I wasn't a huge Alice in Wonderland fan, but my son and I dressed up as Tweedledum and Tweedledee two Halloweens ago. And so ever since then, I've just kind of taken a liking for it. But I just, this really caught my eye because the, mainly because of the backer card, I think it's the sun, this really fun back, backer card. You have the doorknob here, the queen of hearts, and then you have Alice in the bottle. What I like, I like Alice the most, queen of everything. I like this says queen of everything. But if you can see, Alice is inside the bottle. You can still see her body. It's kind of glittery and it actually looks like her body is inside that glass bottle. Yeah, I just, these pins really caught my eye. These were uh, 14, yeah, 14.95. And let's, let's actually take Alice off the backer card and see what she looks like on the back. Okay, so there's no Mickey waffling. It does say um, Disney at the top. It has one pin post and it's from 2020. Um, I can't read the little writing in the Mickey hat, but there she is. I said one pin post and she comes with the Mickey head backing. So the Disney store, I got the patch, the Alice pins and those magnets. All right, the next thing I'm gonna share with you is a trip that I took, well, an ornament that I bought on a trip that I took with my family, with, the, with my grandmother and my mother and my sister. And every year we go to Frankenmuth, which is a just a wonderful town in Michigan, Northern Michigan. And this is a Mary Poppins ornament that I bought at Bronner's. Bronner's is an all Christmas store. They do kind of give homage to other holidays, but they're the largest Christmas store in the entire world. And it's cool that it's here in Michigan and it's only about an hour drive from me. So I'm having like a squirrel moment. I'm talking and then I'm looking at the box. <laughs> is my shirt going cockeyed? I feel like it is. Okay, fix that. Here we go. Okay, what I like about her the most is that she is the original Mary Poppins. I love her feet turned out. As a dancer, I definitely appreciate that. As a dance teacher now, and her carpet bag and her umbrella with the bird face. I do have a video where I made a Mary Poppins hat and I show you how to make a candy umbrella. So I will link that below, but Mary Poppins is just a dear, dear character to me. And, and I grew up watching this movie and absolutely love it. And she's just one of my favorites. So I like buying merchandise with her on it. Next is a bath bomb that I received in my Easter basket this year. I got a lot of really nice things. As you can see, the Easter baskets are in the background. I'd like to give you a tour of the Easter baskets, but now they're just sort of, let's see, this is four days after Easter and they're pretty much torn apart. So I'm not gonna give you a tour of the Easter baskets, but I wish I would've thought of that earlier because that would've been fun to see. But um, the kids also received um, some jelly beans that are themed. Uh, Toy Story for Landon. Carter received. Um, Carter received Star Wars one. He already ate those, and Lily received Frozen two. The bunny knows that we like Disney, so Easter Bunny's always good to us. 
Uh, Lillian got a Bell Bath Bomb in her basket and I received Cinderella. This doesn't say the scent, it only just says like a perfume. This is a perfume scented bath bomb. So I, it doesn't give like a specific scent, but look how cute Cinderella looks on there. Love it. I love bath bombs. I love baths, really. I know people are like, you're sitting in your own wet dirt, you know, but it's like, if you're sitting in your wet dirt, like how dirty are you? That's, I keep, I just throw that out there. Okay, last, I have a diamond painting that I ordered. I'm actually thinking about doing a time lapse of this diamond painting. So if you're interested, leave a comment below. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see because I'm thinking about doing that. This is of the castle. And it's gonna be really hard for you to see. This is Cinderella's castle. If you've never done a diamond painting or diamond dots or what else have I seen them be called? I can't remember. What? This is, this is sticky on the back. And then you can see that there's plastic over top of it. It's kind of like paint by numbers, but you're gonna use these little beads. The beads also, these little um, dots are numbered. And then you're gonna put this dot on the picture according to the number or symbol. Some of them have symbols. You can see the key, the symbol key is on this side. I'm covering it up. The symbol key is on this side. And then, like I said, you stick the diamonds on here according to the, the color or the, you know, the number or whatever. This is gonna be gorgeous when it's done, don't you think? Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. I've seen another one like this and it has um, the statue of Walt and Mickey kind of in front of it right here. I wish this one would have had that. Then people would have really known that it's the Cinderella castle. Okay, that is all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this haul, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below what your favorite item is. And we'll see you again really soon for a new video. Bye, Disney fans.